Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm on my way to bring Cameron to dance class. Um, my mom is still over and she's been helping me to rearrange the house and kind of get ready for the new baby. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned we have another girl. And, and this my sister. Yes, and Cameron's very excited because she is not the only girl anymore. So, um, we've been doing a lot of just shifting around in the house and it's been definitely a blessing to have my mom here to help out with the kids and I'm working on a proposal with my job so that I can work from home at least three days out of the week um, and so I did a lot of work from home today so I'm hoping that before the baby's born I have some type of a schedule established so that after the baby's born I won't have to work um, as many days in the office and then I can have her home with me and I can nurse and I can you know have all that quality time with the baby that I want. Um, well, the other kids, I felt like I had 12 weeks off of work and I had to just get right back to work. So, what, Cameron? The boy room is now my room. Yes, we're switching the boys' room that's closest to my room, the younger boys' room, that's closest to my room. We're switching that to the girls' room now. So the boys will be in a, in a different room. So she's excited about that. She's been sharing a room with me, so... That's going to be a big shift. I don't know how she's going to do with transitioning yeah, into her own room. Like she thinks the baby's going to sleep with her. She's going to be in such for a rude awakening when she sees how <laughs> how boring the ones really are. But anyway, um, I'll vlog a little bit at dance so you can see her. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, we're heading into Cameron's dance school. We're going to get her, um, her pictures, order her pictures. Uh -huh. So, come on, Cam. We're going to order her pictures and take those out. Cam, say, see you later, guys. See you later. Wait, come look, because they can't see you. See you later. Hey guys so Cameron is in her hip-hop class right now and I'm back in the car um I'm really trying to prevent myself from going into firehouse I've gained so much weight this pregnancy like it's ridiculous and I'm getting kind of nervous because I'm only 19 weeks almost and yeah so I'm kind of nervous because I have still like half the pregnancy left um so I was thinking about doing pregnancy keto but I'm not sure. I haven't really did the research, but I've seen some groups on Facebook and a lot of moms seem to manage their weight. They don't gain any weight but the baby weight during the pregnancy and stuff like that. But it's so hard not to eat carbs. There's like a firehouse right here next to the dance school and I'm so tempted to go in there and get a sub and I really want to. <laughs> I really want to. Um so maybe I do like a lazy keto. I don't know. I'm gonna um do some research, look online, look on check out some YouTube channels that um that talk about keto during pregnancy. My OBGYN says it's okay to limit some carbs, but not all. So I can probably do a lazy keto. So we'll see. But that's all I just came to check in before I um but while Cameron was taking her classes, this is my time to catch a little break. And I'm going to probably get my laptop out and start doing some work. Because like I said, we're doing this um, pilot thing for me to work from home. Just to kind of see how it works and see if this is something that we can do in the future. So I'm really, really hoping that this works out. Because it will be so much easier for my family and my household. You know, because the boys are on spring break from track this week. But they start back going to track next week Cameron's back into gymnastics and she's in dance on Thursday so it's just a lot of running around and Kamari's getting ready for college so I got a lot of stuff that I have to get done for him next week he has um his physical he has to get his immunization records and everything squared away and so it's a lot of um a lot of just running around being in the car a lot and a lot of eating on the go that's what another reason why I can't do keto <laughs> well not that I can't but that it'll 
probably be difficult because there's not a lot of things you can buy that um, are no carb or low carb that you can eat in the car on the way to a track meet or something like that. So, I don't know. But I'm going to get my laptop out, get to work, and I will vlog a little bit when I get home, uh, maybe with Cameron and Chico. Mason will be back tomorrow from Florida. He went to Florida with his best friend. Um, he'll be back tomorrow, and um, I'll be doing their Easter baskets and getting ready for Easter dinner on Sunday. And I probably will hide a few eggs in the house just for, you know, just for the kids. Um, and they can look around the house and find them and stuff like that. So, nothing too big. Um, but other than that, um, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so we're back from dance and it's bedtime and I probably should have tried to vlog the bedtime routine, but I've been so exhausted, so I have yeah, to get better. Yeah, she's so sick. So, we're well, going to read. I'm sick too. I feel better. <laughs> we're going to read. Um, that's bedtime. me, so that that's me. We're gonna read some bedtime stories. Yeah. Um, only one, only two. Um, her favorite is Lola at the library. Um, she used to always wear her hair in these little puffs, so she always says that this is her. Um, so we're gonna read yeah. that. That's me. Okay. And she's gonna go down for bed. Goodbye. Did you stop? Okay, so we're reading Lola Goodbye. at the library. Uh, Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola mommy. and her mommy go to the library. Ma mommy, that's me. I'm trying to work. Mm -hmm. The library opens at 9 o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. So that's me, you guys know these. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. There's a special, there's a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says shh. Sometimes, quiet. Mm -hmm. sometimes there is singing. Lola mommy, knows all the words. Mommy, can I read it? Shh. Mommy, can I read it? Shh. Lola knows all the words and hands for Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. How I wonder. Sometimes there is a story time and Lola loves that. After story time, Lola chooses her books in the library she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many, it takes ages to choose. Mommy has some books too. The librarian Mommy buzzes. has some books. Mm -hmm. The librarian buzzes through the machine, then snaps the date inside. That's her mommy. Mm -hmm. Lola must bring the books back in two weeks, but she will probably be back long before then. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Then it's time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. And then her mommy cuddles her up. Mm -hmm. It is the best way to end the day. Hey guys. The end. Now let's read this one. No, we're going to bed. I'm tired, kid. No. We can read it tomorrow night. No. No. Did nobody touch my tab? Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so I just got camera down to sleep after our book and I am gonna try to get some work done, like I said, for the pilot at my job. Um, and then just try to do some, probably a 
load of laundry, not a bunch of laundry, maybe just a load um, for tonight. Tomorrow's Good Friday, so I don't have to work. So I'm gonna um, try to straighten up um, the rest of upstairs so we can do the transition for the rooms. Um, we're separating Chico's two small clothes and Cameron's two small clothes to give to the new baby um, once she gets here and just a lot of transition. Um, we are gonna probably move uh, next year into a bigger house um, because right now we're we've grown out of this out of this house. Uh, we have a three bedroom and we need probably a four or a five bedroom um, moving forward. Um, but I just wanted to close out the blog and get better at closing out the blog and showing our day to day and our day in the life and just trying to get some better content going 